Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Bali should have ignored ECL. Bali should have ignored ECL. You see, ECL lost by one million votes. One million. That would break any man losing by that margin. And then on top of that, during inauguration, he was booed by a 65,000 capacitor stadium. Do you understand what that would do to your psyche? We've seen football players booed Mustadia Mukuni Lasso. You've watched. He even got frustrated and said, Now, Fidek Fiamma politics have retired. He started living as a retiree. Bali Manaka Garden. He was busy just watering his vegetables. He even lost weight because he was thinking, like, how, how do I lose by that margin? Do the Zambian people hate me this much? That will break you. He even fell sick, if you remember. That was depression. That's how badly ECA was defeated. But Bali went and started beating a dead horse. He started poking at the bear, which is already dead. When Zambians moved on, because Zambians, every time we change an administration, we forget. UNIP, we forgot. MMD, we forgot. PF, we were supposed to forget. The Zambians actually did forget about PF. We all believed that PF is dead and gone. ECL never coming back. But Bali raised ECL from the ashes like a phoenix himself. Every time Bali stood on the podium with a mic, eh, the previous regime, eh, Lungu did Chakuti, eh, Lungu Shan, people were just like, bro, let it go. It's like me all the time complaining about my ex. There will come a time the people I'm complaining to will start to think, ah, maybe your ex wasn't the problem. Hmm, maybe in the Chabendi way. That's what happens. Never give any platform. Never shine a light on your enemies. Pretend like they don't exist. That's it. It's like me dissing Jay-Z right now. My song blows up. Then I respond. Then he responds. You know what you do? You add relevance to me. But if he wants to kill my momentum, he doesn't have to reply. He will just act like he's never listened to the song. If asked, you even be like, I don't even know who that person is. That's what Bali was supposed to do. But guess what? He kept on poking at the bear, poking at the bear. He lost focus. It was now an issue of making sure the PF is... Katu issue what he was expecting. If everybody who was part of PF should cease from existence. He never stopped talking about them. Zambians asked him, Wait, President, you are the one in charge now. But no, he couldn't let it go. He couldn't let it go. Reason? Don't know. I don't know why he couldn't let it go. Now Lungu, since he was being kept relevant by Bali himself, he was being kept relevant. Then people now started piecing the puzzles together. They started now comparing you with your enemy. Remember, people always compare you to the people they believe is your arch enemy. Who's better? They'll always Messi Ronaldo. Ronaldo versus Messi. They'll always do that. Now, we are in a situation where people are like, okay, Lungu, his administration, they were thieves, they were shown, whatever you call them. But let us look at the, 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 the stats on the paper. Let's look at the economy. Let's look at the currency, the inflation. Let's look at the energy sector. Let's look at infrastructure. Now people start to think like, hmm, are we in a bad place? Are we in a better place like Bali had promised? Why? He made his competitors relevant to a point that people now say comparing them. But had Bali just acted like PF never existed and just focused on his work and fulfilling his promises, believe me, ECA would have not had the courage and the confidence to come back. Do you know why he has had the confidence? 
because Bali has given him the platform. ECL has smelt the weakness. He smelt the blood in the water. He's just, I smell weakness. And guess what? There is weakness because it all started from Bali failing to let go. That was the first step he made to show weakness. Now look at ECO with his chest puffed up. Look at now the constitutional court. A mess because UPND is now running, doing all they can to make sure this guy doesn't stand. Because guess what? The villain that you fought, the villain you defeated has come back bigger and stronger. And this time with support. Why? Because the hero showed weakness. I don't know, maybe Bali thought to himself, ah, 2026 will be boring. I won't even have some serious competition. I mean, what's the point of being a hero when there is no villain? So let me resurrect my villain so that I can have a nice showdown in 2026. Maybe I can beat him again round two. Well, that's a very risky thing to do. Otherwise, this is the ghost. It has come to haunt them back. All they had to do was just let go. The question is, are they ready to fight this ghost? Don't know. Now, I'm starting to believe the UPND administration winning by one million votes may have come with a side effect. Have you ever heard of that term they say, uh, suffering from success? Or you can go as far as saying a champion's curse. It's where you over succeed. To a point now you can't live up to the hype. You understand? Where your success is almost a fluke. Now you're probably wondering, how can you say fluke? They won by a million votes. You can't be a fluke when you won by a million votes. Correct. But here's where I'm going. You see, them winning by a million votes made them very complacent. Because look at them. They believed, oh my goodness, we are loved. We have one million votes. People love us. We can even do so little and still be loved. A million votes, we broke each and every record. So they went into relax mode. Laissez faire. You feel me? Because you see, the only time people work hard, the only time a human really works hard, is when they believe they can fail. Or when they believe there's a chance of failure, a high chance of failure. That's when you really work really hard. If the UPND administration won by, let's say, 100 to 200,000 votes, believe me, they would have upped their game from day one. But they've been really relaxed. Why? Because that million votes got to their head. It's normal. You see, when you win by that margin when you didn't expect it, you may actually reach a point where you don't know what to do with it. Are you catching the drift? Now, there are two reasons I believe the UPND administration or the UPND as a party got that one million votes. Number one, protest vote. Yeah, it's a real thing, protest vote. You see, people can actually vote for you, not because they believe in you, not because they think you can make a change, not because they believe you're going to accomplish each and every promise or fulfill each and every promise you gave them. But they voted for you simply because they wanted to spite and punish the other guy. You see, the, U uh, the PF had messed up in the last three years of their governance, especially the last three years. They became so arrogant. They believed they were invincible. They believed they were untouchable. They couldn't lose. So the Zambian people just got tired of them just misbehaving, the open air corruption, which was going crazy. So the Zambian people are like, you know what? I think you've gone too far and we're going to teach you a lesson. We are going to vote for the other guy just to punish you. It's more like how that other artist won the awards two years ago. If you remember, Yarema Awards, Yam 2022, there was artist number one, who we all knew was definitely going to win. And then there was artist number two. But simply because artist number one was misbehaving, is insulting, is doing so what. So people are like, you know what, for your attitude, we are going to punish you. We are going to vote for artist number two. And that is how protest votes work. You understand? It's people just voting against you because you angered them. Because you just became, I would say, incompetent in their eyes, right? Then there is variable number two, sympathy vote. Yeah, sympathy vote. Let's, let's not even lie to ourselves. There are people out there that actually believed, ah, you know what, guys, 
the UPND administration has been trying to come into power since 98. That's a very long time. No one has had, no party has had to go through that length just to try to get into power. 20 years is a very long time. Then Bali himself had to be in opposition for 15 years. That's a long time. And then people started to say, oh, guys, Bali has been trying for 15 years. It's not fair for us to keep him out of power. You feel me? Like we need to award hard work. We need to award perseverance. He's very, you know, he's very persistent. Let's give him power. Otherwise, we started to even feel guilty as Zambians to say, ah, uh, guys, I think we've kept him out of power long enough. It's not fair. You understand? Actually fair. The man has put in the work and he deserves the reward. Sympathy is a very real thing, ladies and gentlemen. You do not underestimate sympathy votes. They come. They come. They may, have be, they may have different reasons, but people do, yes, vote based on cause. You feel me? And of course, yes, there are regular votes that have always been there, that have been uh, vo uh, voters that have voted for the party since inception. You feel me? But those, I'm not going to count them out because those were like default votes. So those two variables are the reasons why I believe they got a million votes. Number one, protest vote. Number two, sympathy vote. And those are the things that the UPND administration should have looked at and say, guys, how did we get to a million votes? Had they actually sat down and looked at why they were, they were voted into power, they would have not relaxed. Because they would have understood that, hey, tables may turn if we do not turn up. And quite frankly, we are seeing that happening right now. They got what I would say comfortable in their own glory. But the thing about glory is it can be easily lost when one loses the plot. I'm just saying. Deuce. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.